An increasing number of Indiana police and fire departments are using drone technology to help navigate emergency situations. According to the Center for the Study of the Drone at Bard College, the number of public safety agencies with drones has increased more than 80 percent in the past year. As Barbara Brozier reports, their success has other industries looking to drones for solutions. Like the community it sits in, the Noble County Sheriff's Department is relatively small. But technology the department invested in back in 2016 is helping police here work more efficiently. I can't overstate uh, how much value and how much of a resource multiplier it has been for us. Before the department bought two drones, it didn't have access to its own aircraft for emergency situations. It cost nearly $400 an hour to hire a helicopter, but the department can operate a drone for about $20 an hour. There's no standing by and waiting for the state police to be contacted to bring a helicopter out. They use a controller outfitted with a large display screen to get a bird's eye view of emergency situations. It's useful for everything from analyzing a crash site to finding a missing person. The power of the small devices became clear from the first time officers used them. In that case, police were engaged in a pursuit with a suspect. When we got there, uh, it took us about five minutes to deploy the drone. Uh, and within three or four minutes, we had located the suspect. And then we just simply followed him with the drone until ground units had caught up to him and were able to apprehend him. But some Hoosiers worry about police and fire departments using this kind of technology. That's something the Wayne Township Fire Department experienced firsthand when it announced it was starting a drone program. There was a lot of uproar. Uh, over privacy issues with the with the drones. State laws dictate how emergency responders can use drones. Police and fire investigators have to obtain a search warrant in order to use them, unless it's an emergency situation. And Pruitt says most of the calls his department responds to are emergencies. We've uh, conducted search and rescue operations like went on with uh, the incident involving the young boy in Columbus, uh, missing kayaker in Bartholomew County. Uh, plane crash uh, in up in Carroll County. Pruitt says he expects drones will eventually become a tool every fire department has. And Indiana State University sees potential far beyond emergency responders. It started the state's first bachelor's degree in unmanned systems a few years ago. We create um, uh, individuals that can go from a, I call it the landscaper model, where they have a truck and a drone and they'll take whatever job they can get. Students learn how to build and repair the drones. Then they get hands-on experience flying them in a variety of missions. We've got a couple students working for a roofing company that uh, has started to use drones with uh, software that will automatically detect hail damage. Morgan says there's no shortage of jobs for students, and he expects the demand to only increase as more public sector companies turn to drones to do things they otherwise can't. We've got the distance from me, which is uh, 1,400 feet now. For police and fire departments, it's a no-brainer. The drones are cheaper, faster, and help keep them out of harm's way. I wish we would have had the drones a lot sooner than we actually have them. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Barbara Brozier.